Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes. And I am in the middle of packing and getting ready to leave for my horror convention that's this weekend. It's Thursday. I'm actually going to Bryant's house this evening. He's actually only about 20 minutes from the venue where the horror convention's going to be. Yes, I still got a hotel room for Friday and Saturday nights, but I just, when I'm at a convention, I really like to stay at the convention, you know? <laughs> Even though it would have been smart to just stay at his place and drive back and forth. I want to be able to, to, after the vending is done, go party with everyone else and have fun and, and then just go crash in my hotel room. So I still got a hotel room for Friday and Saturday night and uh, Bryant will be joining me when he gets off of work Friday. Um, and so we'll be having a lot of fun, hopefully. Also, hopefully uh, I'll be having a good convention and making some money. But anyway, that's, I guess, kind of beside the point. I was packing my outfits and I thought, <laughs> I should throw together a quick little lookbook for you guys to show you what I'm taking to the horror convention for me. Now there's probably going to be some crossover between this horror convention this weekend and the Gothic Cruise I'm leaving for next weekend because I'm also going to do a Gothic Cruise <laughs> lookbook for you guys next week. So I may or may not show the outfits twice um, depending like because I'm, I'm pretty sure because there's going to be two pool parties at this convention so I, I have a couple swimsuits I'm taking and I may also be taking those on the Gothic Cruise. Um, the outfits will probably be different like the clothing wise will probably be different but oh and also I'm, I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm literally in the middle of packing and then I have to load up the car with all the stuff. The racks have been in the car since my last convention that's why you haven't seen the racks back here for a while because I just left them in the car after that last convention because you know I was sick that whole month and they're heavy and I didn't feel like dealing with them so they've just been rattling around in the back of my car for over a month <laughs> but um I gotta pack all the stuff there's these boxes here there's a bunch of boxes over there that I have to take um I've got to finish the packing of course um and you know got to get out of the house so I don't have time to put makeup on plus my makeup is packed and I want to unpack it and repack it <laughs> so that's why you're getting bare face today I'm not even wearing mascara or lip gloss I'm just this is what you get today. <laughs> but we're not here for my face. We're here for these awesome clothes that I'm going to show you, the, the outfits that I want to take with me. Now, I'm. it's only three days. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I am taking more than three outfits because you never know what mood you're going to be in, right? Like, the outfit that I think looks good on me now, I might wake up Saturday morning and hate. So I always like to have a, at least two, maybe three extra options. I don't even know how many I have over here. But I do like to have a couple of extra options just in case I'm not feeling it that day. <laughs> so, but we're starting with this outfit. This is pretty much all Killstar. This is that... Killstar dress. I'm pretty sure this is the one that was terribly sized. Like, this is a two extra large, and it fits me absolutely perfectly. And you guys know I'm normally a Killstar extra large, and sometimes even a large. My measurements for reference are 40, 33, 43. <laughs> but this dress, like, the arms are almost too tight. Like, if I had gotten the extra large, because it was a mistake that I ordered the two extra large, I think, uh, <laughs> and it was a lucky mistake. But if I had gotten this in the extra large, these arms would have been too tight. And the rest of it, it just like fits me like a glove. It's even pulling a little bit across my chest right now because the bra I have is, <laughs> I'm wearing, a, it's a Killstar bra. I don't know if you can see from there, but it's the Webutom bra. So it has the spider web stitching. So I thought that would be really cute underneath the sheer top. Plus it has this little, you know, it comes down into like a point. So I thought that gave it a nice shape and you know, Killstar spider webs. I thought all oh, that would be good for a horror convention. And since I'll be vending, I'll probably be putting some sort of chainmail over top of this anyway. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'll be, because uh, <laughs> like I always make that decision there. Like I'm I'm at the the show and I'm like, oh, I'll just put this one today and then wear it to you know try and garner some interest. So so that is outfit number one. Again, I have no idea what order I'll wear these outfits. It'll depend how I'm feeling that day. But let's move on. We have, I'm going to do the dresses first, then I'm going to do the swimsuits, and then the pair of pajamas. So we'll be right back. Of course, I forgot to check the label before I put this on. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this dress is by Sourpuss. I'll correct that when I try on the next dress, <laughs> if I'm wrong. Um, now, this dress is just a touch tight on me. But the reason why I am super excited for this dress is I've had this dress for years and it has not fit me in years. This is the first time I've been able to get it on in a very long time. Like, I mean, I probably hadn't tried in a year or two, but still, I, I haven't been able to get into it for a long time. And I thought this would be super cute for the horror convention because, you know, 
obviously I love purple polka dots but the waistband has all the little coffins and skulls on it the straps match so I thought that was a cute little touch um, it's a nice just below my knee length and it's just a thin cottony little dress and uh, the other awesome thing about it is it actually has a little bit of padding up in the cups so you don't have to worry about you know any sort of show through and you don't have to wear like the little pasties or anything and or worry about how to get a bra to work with it and uh, the way that it's cut it actually even is pretty supportive so this is a pretty awesome dress i'm so happy that it fits me again <laughs> i absolutely love it and i thought this would be you know like i said great for a horror convention because we got the little horror elements and um this would also look good with one of my scale mail tops over it like little halter dresses usually look good with the scale mail tops over them so i'll be able to show off some of my wares but yeah this is dress number two let me know what you think and let's try another one so yes that last dress was by sourpuss this dress is actually by spin doctor and i'm currently not wearing a bra with it uh it, it doesn't have any sort of padding like the other dress did however i will be wearing one of those chicken cutlet bras with it you know the two little sticky um flesh colored <laughs> things that just pull you together they don't really give you support but they push you together um just to prevent any sort of show through you know and, and in lieu of pasties i'll be wearing one of those chicken cutlet bras i just forgot to bring it downstairs with me because like i said i'm in the middle of packing when i was like hey let's film this <laughs> but this dress is absolutely adorable it is by spin doctor it has these little um uh like skull cameos on it i don't even know if you guys can see that you can see that those are <laughs> like, ah, oh, look, look at my skull cameos. <laughs> really, I'm not trying to flash you. <laughs> but yeah, so it's covered in these little skull cameos, which is absolutely adorable. It's a super comfortable dress. It's a little bit short, does come a little bit above my knee. I guess the lace does go below my fingertips, though. So still, still private school appropriate, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Um, it does have this nice little bow to tighten it in the back. It has a bunch of stretchy stuff. Uh, super comfortable. Has pockets. I mean, yeah, girls love their pockets. So that is a nice little touch. And yeah, I just thought, again, be super cute. Something, the halter dresses are always nice to put one of my tops over. I, I think I even have a scale mail top that has one of these little um, skull cameos on it. <laughs> which would match so yeah this is another dress that i'll be taking and probably wearing because it's super comfortable and cute and let's see here i think i have three more dresses to try like i said i'm taking way more dresses that i need this is only a three-day event i'll be vending all day long <laughs> so it's not like i'll be doing a lot of wardrobe changes or anything and this is the third dress but i'm taking six because like i said you never know you never know you get there and you're like eh, i don't like this one anymore <laughs> so i just like to be prepared let's move on <laughs> Here we have yet another dress from Sourpuss that hasn't fit me in years. <laughs> now this one, however, I'm probably not gonna feel comfortable in. And the reason being, it is a, a pretty body conscious dress, so it's pretty clingy through my midsection, which is where, as you guys know, I'm like the most self-conscious. Like, like, I don't even care about having big hips and thighs. I just wish my, my tummy and back were a little bit thinner, like through here the back fat roll there and and the the tummy i just want those parts to be thinner my my hips and thighs can be huge all they want i'm fine with that i don't know why that's just my insecurity but anyway <laughs> enough about me <laughs> complaining um i'm i paired this incredibly adorable little like frankenstein and bride of frankenstein print dress with this bat belt which because there's also little bats in here so i just thought that was super cute um like like just looking here in the viewfinder i do like the way this looks but like i said it's really clingy through my midsection so chances are when i'm actually at the event i'll look at this outfit and be like no i can't do that because <sighs> you know my insecurities get in the way but you never know i might change my mind or i might put it on when i'm drunk because you know i have no insecurities when i'm drunk <laughs> but so yeah this is this is the next outfit but this is the one that probably isn't actually going to get worn i just realized i haven't been showing you the backs of any of these dresses but i don't know if that really matters <laughs> but uh let's move on i only have two more dresses then we have two swimsuits and some pajamas 
Next is this Hearts and Roses London dress that I absolutely love. I even have a jacket that's like a long coat in this exact same fabric. <laughs> it is so cute. If you can see, it's got like the little vintage Halloween kitties all over it and get you a good view there. And like, is there what else is on there? Uh, well, kitties, it's mostly kitties. It's vintage Halloween kitties on pumpkins and just vintage Halloween kitties being kitties. <laughs> I love this print. It's so cute. And I paired that with this um, Spin Doctor little tank top, or not tank top, but like little like cap sleeve shirt. Now, um, it is possible I would also wear this without the shirt, but I really like the way it looks with the shirt. I just think it, these two pieces go really well together. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty long dress. It goes down almost, not quite, but almost down, all the way down to my ankles, I guess like mid calf. So it's a nice long dress. It has a lot of volume in the skirt and it's like a thin cottony material. I do, like I keep saying, absolutely love this dress. And again, horror convention appropriate because Halloween kitties. <laughs> so we only have one more dress to try. I'll be right back. The final dress, this is by Cow Cow, which is a brand that I find on Amazon. I actually have a lot of these dresses. Uh, I went through a, a kick where I was, these were the dresses I was just buying constantly and tons of different prints. They do these fun prints. They were sort of like, remember when Black Milk used to do basically this? <laughs> so they were sort of the cheap ripoff version of Black Milk. I don't know if any of the patterns were actually stolen from Black Milk, but you know, the same idea where it was like this, it's that, thin satiny almost swimsuit like material <laughs> and they just cover it in different prints so I, I do have a bunch of dresses like this but the reason why I pack this one I mean obviously it's good for a horror convention we've got the tombstones and the crosses and the the cats but these dresses are so incredibly comfortable so if by Sunday Sunday comes along and I'm feeling a little rough because maybe I partied a little too hard Friday or Saturday night <laughs> I can always choose this one because this will be like being in my pajamas <laughs> It's just that comfortable. So that's that's why I made a choice with this one. It's always good to have that one dress, at least that one outfit that is just straight up comfort. Because <laughs> you might be feeling that by the end of the weekend. So yeah, that's the last dress. I'm going to show you the two swimsuits because there's going to be, I believe, two pool parties. I believe Friday night is a pool party with a DJ and Saturday night is a pool party with... Um, is it Mr. Fang in the Dark Tones? Uh, a, nearly a year ago, <laughs> I went to a um, Halloween night. I then did at a Halloween night uh, in Williamsburg, Virginia called The Witching Hour, which unfortunately she hasn't had one since that Halloween. But it's it's actually where I met Bryant. <laughs> but Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. F I think it's Mr. Fang in the Dark Tones, I'm pretty sure. But he played that event. <laughs> so I'll get to see him again. And uh, so that'll be fun. And let's move on to the swimsuits. Now you might recognize this skirt from the small versus extra large haul I just did with my roommate, Carol. And I told you I had in mind, I wanted this for a swimsuit cover up. And here it is as a swimsuit cover up. And I think it's absolutely perfect. Just exactly what I wanted it for. Um, and it is this like thin crepey feeling material. So I feel like it's something that would dry really quick. I have no idea what the fabric is, probably polyester, but it does have that cottony crepey feel um, that like a lot of swimsuit cover-ups are actually made out of. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it's absolutely adorable. And let's get that off and show you the swimsuit. This is another item. Oops, looks like my ribbon came untied. This is another item that was in a box. I put away because it literally had not fit me in years. And it might still be a touch a little, a touch tight on me, maybe, maybe just a little bit, but it's not bad. It actually, I, I can get into it. <laughs> and uh, I don't feel it looks that bad. It's a really cute swimsuit. Um, it's an interesting design because it is one piece. You can see in the back, the bottoms are a little polka dot. But in the front, it's designed to be like a little two piece, but it's connected. So it's an interesting design. Uh, I don't remember who it's by. I'll have to check when I take it off. It might be Sourpuss again. I'm pretty sure I found it at a Hot Topic years ago on sale. Um, has a light padding in the cups. 
as normal with swimsuit padding cups they migrate into weird places but <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually worn this I, I don't think this has ever been worn it's been tried on a few times it didn't fit me <laughs> but I don't think it's been worn so this will be the first time I'm actually wearing it and so yeah let me know what you think of the swimsuit and this is one of the things that'll probably like the swimsuits are probably the only two things I'll duplicate uh, with the um, gothic cruise lookbook and this one is probably going to go with me on the gothic cruise so you might be seeing this again in next week's lookbook um, I haven't decided if I'm just going to be like hey look at the other lookbook or if I'm going to just show you again um, but yeah so that's one of my pool party outfits with that skirt that I uh, took off there it has a little zipper on the side but yeah I know that I think the skirt looked really cute with it too but let me know what you think and let's try on the second swimsuit now the second swimsuit is actually a combination uh, first we have this little bat swimsuit like velvety bats uh, burnout and I bought two of these swimsuits from dress lily for the gothic cruise last year so I had this top which came with a terrible bottom <laughs> And then I had a bikini, which was, you know, more of a sports bra type top, but in this is same fabric. And then the, um, the panty came with the matching panty. But I got rid of the terrible bottom that came with this top, and I wear this panty with both tops. So you can see how cute this panty is. I'll show you here in a minute, but I just want to talk about the cover-up pieces. You might remember these cover-up pieces from a small versus extra large haul that I did with Carol, actually a couple months ago, I guess. But... This came with a tiny little bikini bottom and a tiny little bra top. I still need to sew the bra top kind of together because the way it is right now, it just keeps slipping off because it's like slides on cord and I need to sew it so it'll stay in place. Plus it's very a very tiny bra top, which I'm not nearly comfortable enough <laughs> to wear at this point in my life. Um, like I'm barely even comfortable enough to wear that <coughs> sports bra. It matches this sw swimsuit and came with these bottoms the or these bottoms <laughs> so that's that's why i tend to gravitate towards this one because it gives me that little egg bit of extra coverage but this the cover-up pieces like i said came with a tiny bikini <laughs> but i thought that they because they, they've got the skeletons all over they would be super cute with the bats so i thought that would be cute for a horror convention the skirt had a gold chain dangling in front of it um it's actually right here <laughs> But I removed it because, well, it's gold and I'm not fond of gold. Plus, it was just kind of annoying having that chain dangling there. I like it better without the chain. But let me know uh, what you think about this. And oh, let me show you the bottoms. <clears throat> so they're just a high-waisted lace-up on the side bottom in that velvet bat burnout. And I love that because, you know, this is part of a swimsuit too I can even swim with the cover-up pieces on if I really want because I do tend to like skirted swimsuit bottoms <laughs> I mean the last one is almost the way they made it like a dress over the bottom is almost a skirted swimsuit bottom I would have liked it if they had made it just a little bit longer on that last one you know a little more skirt like <laughs> but I mean like I said so technically I could wear it like this Although I'll probably take the skirt off if I do get into the pool. And, but I, I'll, I'm also probably going to leave the sleeves on, especially if the sun is still out. Because I really want... Christ, I've been... I've been looking at burkinis after my last bout. Like, I didn't even get that burnt. Like, nothing peeled. It just got a little bit red and it's, it's already faded into... A, if you can see here, it's already faded into a, a tan mostly. <laughs> But I just didn't like it. I just didn't like the uh, getting that tiny bit of burnt that I got. My nose is still a little bit red too, right there on the tip. Uh, that's the only thing that it like keeps threatening to peel, but it hasn't yet. It's just been dry. But yeah, so I was I've been literally shopping burkinis, like the long sleeves, and and they come with like the swim ankle length leggings just because of the sun just because I don't want to deal with that much sun <laughs> but I haven't actually bought one yet I do have several in my she and whistle wish list though <laughs> I may I may still buy one they have a couple that actually have like zippers here so I could like show off cleavage <laughs> so then I could be a little less a little less modest maybe <laughs> but like the modesty thing doesn't even bother me I just want to be protected from the damn sun 
<laughs> so yeah, especially if the sun is still out, although it probably won't be because they're nighttime parties, but you know, I like the idea of having the cover-ups. I have uh, another one as well upstairs, but I'm not, not taking that one on this trip. This is just two nights. <laughs> I only need two swimsuits. <laughs> But yeah, so that's it for the uh, swimsuits. Let me know what you've been thinking about all of this down in the comments below. The last thing left are the pajamas. Be right back. So if you just saw my um, mini Halloween haul, like Burlington Co. Factory, TJ Maxx, all that, from earlier this week, <laughs> you'll recognize these pajamas. And these are so cute. They have these little like vampire fangs all over them. Uh, just a little top and shorts. They're so soft <laughs> and these are great for, you know, hanging out in the hotel room. But if I want to leave the hotel room, like it's three in the morning and I want to wander downstairs to find something, these, these pajamas are perfectly adorable to do that in. <laughs> and I, I mentioned in that previous video that when I go to conventions, when I, when I go to like on the Gothic cruise, at some point, I'm inevitably wandering around in my pajamas. It always happens. Like maybe I got a little too drunk, I went with my pajamas on, sobered up a little bit and decided I wanted to go party some more but didn't want to uh, change back into clothes. <laughs> that's just something that I, I oh, oh, it's got a little bucket. <laughs> but that's just something that I always end up doing. So these pajamas will be absolutely perfect for that. They're so cute, they're so comfortable. And yeah, that's it. That's my, uh, horror convention little gothic lookbook here and now i need to go put all this in a suitcase <laughs> and get everything loaded into the vehicle because i have to leave in i think like two maybe maybe three hours two hours soon i have to leave soon <laughs> and and uh i don't know what i'm gonna fit editing this video because i need to get this video up by tomorrow tomorrow is when the convention starts and i wanted to have this video up at the start of my convention and I will be doing a terrible convention vlog as well so you guys will get to see some of the convention um it'll be my usual I'm terrible at vlogging but here's some photos and videos <laughs> but that's it uh let me know what you thought about all these outfits I'm taking with me to the Tidewater Horror Convention down in the comments below and um yeah, like I said, I'll be doing this again next week for the Gothic Cruise. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to give it a thumbs down and please tell us all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. Sub subscribe. Tongue tied. Please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> and I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.